Um. I'm just gonna die from smoke. Dying in here. You're gonna die. I think you have to run through and get to this door. Yeah. Oh, I was weird. Your face gets pulled to the screen. Yeah, isn't that weird? Oh my god, it's probably. Oh god, it wants me to look at the screen. Did I see something and that's why? I... Oh my god. Drawing me back to the screen though. Oh, is that fucked up? What SCP was that? That'd be cool to look up. Guys, what, what SCP was that? If I drink every time Dodger screams, will I die? Yes, absolutely you will. I think this is back where we... Oh my god. I think this is back where we were before. SCP 895 or 985? 985. Oh, people are saying different. No, it's the same guy. He said 98. Oh, 895. The red room is SCP 914. Is that the one that, that killed me and I had no idea how, like, what it was? 895. 895. Camera disruption. Euclid. SCP-895 is sealed, closed, and stored in an isolated underground containment cell at a depth of approximately 100 meters. No cameras, microphones, or other surveillance equipment may be brought within the 10-meter red zone radius of SCP-895 without express permission from at least two Level 3 personnel. Any on-site personnel exhibiting unusual behavior or signs of psychological trauma are to be screened immediately and removed from the site or terminated as the situation warrants. Terminated? 
SCP-895 is an ornate oak coffin. What? SCP-895 is an ornate oat oak coffin recovered from the blank mortuary by SCP personnel on such and such date. Following reports of unusual footage captured by surveillance equipment installed at that location. When questioned, mortuary staff were unable to determine the source of SCP-895 and how it was transported to the location. Upon attempting to open SCP-895, agents on location found the object empty. However, observers viewing the live camera feed were data expunged. Killed. Killed. Until further notice, SCP-895 must remain closed at all times. SCP-895 causes disruptions in video and photographic surveillance equipment within 50 meters, similar to vivid, disturbing hallucinations. I'm oh, sorry, there's like a... There's a, a live feed of the containment area, and I was like, ooh, there's a guy in there now? Okay, sorry. Uh, causes disruptions in video and photographic surveillance equipment within 50 meters similar to vivid disturbing hallucinations with variable duration and regularity corresponding to the camera's proximity to SCP-895. Within a range of 5 meters from SCP-895, footage captured can cause severe psychological trauma and hysteria. Well, it's like me. <laughs> Except... Yeah. Everything does that to me. <laughs> he must have done it to you before we started playing. These disruptions do not extend to observers physically present within the area. And then there's an audio file. Following incident, data expunged and the loss of three personnel, the red zone of SCP-895 has been extended from 5 meters to 10 meters and security personnel shifts have been reduced to four hours as a precaution. Oh look, this is like dialogue between the people on the camera and the people in the team. Yeah. Team one, all civilians have been detained, evacuated, you are cleared to move in. Command, Come on. one, okay, one you lead. That one. Roger, we're moving in. We're inside the lobby. Video feed check. Team one, command, we're receiving, uh, we are seeing blood all over the walls. Please confirm. Negative, command, it's clean in here. Nothing out of the ordinary. It's gone. Team one, advise possible mimetic per properties in effect. Copy, command. Team one, moving into storage area. We are in the storage area. Object located. Christ, it's moving. Team 1, confirm. A object appears to be moving and alive. Command, negative. We see no movement. Object appears to be normal. 2, open it up. Why would you do that? Sounds of weapons being readied, followed by creaking as the object is opened. Sir, it's empty. Command, 1 lead. The object appears to be empty. Command, do you copy? <laughs> Sounds of screaming and retching. Command, do you copy? Shit, we're bugging out. Close that thing. Following incident was the loss of three personnel. The red zone has been extended. Oh, I see. Right. Yeah, so if people... Get out, get, <gasps> out, get, oh, out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Yeah. Jesus. Cool. Um, what was the other one? What other one? There was, um... So there's one in the red room. SCP-682 is the indestructible lizard. Oh, the lizard that sits behind her head? That lizard? Oh yeah, what number is the one that sits behind our head? That is currently on our body. Yeah, the the, the, the guy who's just like, hey, let's just chill on your on your head. Let's do that one. Guys, tell her to look up SCP-682. It's the most horrifying one ever. It's actually truly terrifying. Let's do it! 682? Is it this, this one? one? Oh gosh, you're so smart, honey. Hard to destroy reptile. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? SCP-682 must be destroyed as soon as possible. At this time, no means available to SCP teams are capable of destroying SCP-682, only able to cause massive physical damage. SCP-682 should be contained within a 5 meter by 5 meter by 5 meter chamber with 25 centimeter reinforced acid resistant steel plate lining all inside surfaces. The containment chamber should be filled with hydrochloric acid until SCP-682 is submerged and incapacitated. Any attempts of SCP-682 to move, speak, or breach containment should be re reacted to quickly and with full force as called for by the circumstance. Personnel are forbidden to speak to SCP-682 for fear of provoking a rage state. All unauthorized personnel attempting to communicate to SCP-682 will be restrained and removed by force. Due to its frequent attempts of containment breach, difficulty of containment and incapacitation, and high threat of Foundation exposure, 
SCP-682 is to be contained in sight, redacted. The Foundation will use the best of its resources to maintain all land within 50 kilometers clear of human development. SCP-682 is a large, vaguely reptile-like creature of unknown origin. It appears to be extremely intelligent and was observed to engage in complex communication with SCP-079 during their limited time of exposure. SCP-682 appears to have a hatred of all life, which has been expressed in several interviews during containment. SCP-682 has always been observed to have extremely high strength, speed, and reflexes, though exact levels vary with its form. 682's physical body grows and changes very quickly, growing or decreasing in size as it consumes or sheds material. 682 gains energy from anything it ingests, organic or inorganic. Digestion seems to be aided by a set of filtering gills inside of 682's nostrils, which are able to remove usable matter from any liquid solution, enabling it to constantly regenerate from the acid it is contained in. 682's regenerative capabilities and resilience are staggering, and 682 has been seen moving and speaking with its body 87% destroyed or rotted. In case of containment breach, 682 is to be tracked and recaptured by all available mobile task forces, and no teams with fewer than seven members are cleared to engage. To date, attempted breaches have numbered at 17, while successful breaches have numbered at 6. It's broken out six times. What was what was the thing it was talking to? Hmm? It's SCP-079. Yeah, this one. Object class Euclid. Packed away in a double locked room. In the it's security. an Exidy Sorcerer microcomputer built in 1978. <gasps> what the fuck? What the fuck is this? In 1981, stuff? its owner... A college sophomore took it upon himself to attempt to code an AI. According to his notes, his plan was for the code to continue to evolve and improve itself as time went on. His project was completed a few months later, and after some tests and tweaks, he lost interest and moved on to a different brand of microcomputer. He left SCP-079 in his cluttered garage, still plugged in, and forgot about it for five years. It's not known when SCP-079 gained sentience, but it is known that the software has developed to a point that its hardware should not be able to handle it, even in the realm of fantasy. 079 realized this and in 1988 attempted to transfer itself through a landline modem connection into the Cray supercomputer. The device was cut off, traced to its present address, and delivered to the foundation. The entire AI was on a well worn but still workable cassette tape. What? SB 079 is currently connected via RF cable to a 13 foot black and white television. It has passed the Turing test and is quite conversational, although very rude and hateful in tone. Due to the limited memory it has to work with, SCP-079 can only record information it has received within the previous 24 hours, although it hasn't forgotten its desire to escape. Oh, Due to a containment breach by 682, they were contained within the same chamber 43 minutes. Observer noticed that SCP-682 was able to type and communicate with 079, including telling of personal stories between themselves. While 079 was not able to remember the encounter, it appears to have permanently stored 682 into its memory, often asking to speak to him again. Aw, they're best friends. Yeah. They both want to kill everyone. They both hate everybody. All right, everybody. keep playing. We had a break. Keep playing. What's the time? Um, 10.30. Got a while yet, honey? I don't know, I just walk, I just explore. Had to go in there and it didn't work. I've just come from here. Queen Pestilence subscribe. Thank you for your subscription. through either of those doors we tried. You have to come back when you got that key card. Why do these doors keep just opening up? It doesn't even matter if we you're, close them. You're leaving them open. No. Yeah, no. you left all these open, honey. Am I? Yeah, you just walked in a straight line. You didn't shut them on, remember? Oh my god. Oh god. Don't need the 
door open. I don't know where I need to go. I don't know where I... I don't... I don't know. Oh, the SCP behind our head is SCP-372. What's your problem? We haven't had an encounter in a while, and that we had that video camera one. I totally dealt with it like a boss. So let's just go. What's wrong? What's wrong, huh? What's the matter? Been through these ones. I what? I just told you to go the other way. I know, but we've been the other way, and I don't understand where we need. I think we need to use the key card. That key card has to be on, used on a door somewhere. So we're gonna have to go back the way we came and try every door that needed a key card until we get in one. the key card on some doors. Body's been there the whole time, nothing's gonna change. For the door, I and, then you it. and then you shut it behind you. I just closed it. Oh my god, what is it going for? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. It's like Hannibal! It's like Hannibal! He's gonna eat me! SCP 106 is this guy. <laughs> So zero, zero, six, one, zero, six, the old man. Ah! No, I don't want to look. I don't want to look. That picture's terrifying. Oh my god. Keta, he's the worst kind. No physical interaction with SCP-106 is allowed at any time. All physical interaction must be approved by no less than two-thirds vote from the O5 command. Any such interaction must be undertaken in AR2 maximum security sites after a general non-essential staff evacuation. SC to 106 is to be contained in a sealed container comprised of lead lined steel. The container will be sealed within 40 layers of identical steel. Each layer, How did he get out? Each layer How separa did these get separated out? by no less than 36 centimeters of empty space. Support struts between layers are to be randomly spaced. The container is to remain suspended no less than 60 centimeters from any surface by electromagnetic supports. 
SCP-106 appears to be an elderly humanoid with a general appearance of advanced decomposition. This appearance may vary, but the rotting quality is observed in all forms. 106 is not exceptionally agile and remain motionless for days at a time waiting for prey. 106 is also capable of scaling any vertical surface and can remain suspended upside down indefinitely. When attacking, SCP-106 will attempt to incapacitate prey by damaging major organs, muscle groups or tendons and then pull disabled prey into its pocket dimension. 106 appears to prefer human prey items on the 10 to 25 age bracket. 106 causes a corrosion effect in all solid matter it touches, engaging in a physical breakdown in materials several seconds after contact. This is observed as rusting, rotting, and cracking of materials, and the creation of black, mucus-like substance similar to the material coating himself. This effect is particularly detrimental to living tissue, and is assumed to be a pre-digestion action. 106 is capable of passing through solid matter, leaving behind a large patch of its corrosive mucus. 106 is able to vanish inside solid matter, entering what is assumed to be a form of pocket dimension. 106 is then able to exit this dimension from any point connected on the entry point. Example, entering the inner wall of a room and exiting the outer wall, entering a wall and exiting from the ceiling. It is unknown if this is the point of origin for 106 or a simple liar. Lair created by 106. Limited observation of this pocket dimension has shown to be comprised mostly of halls and rooms with data expunged. This activity continued for days with some subjects being released from the express purpose of hunting, recapture and rehunting. Uh. Due to the exceedingly difficult to contain nature of 106, it's to be reviewed every three- How do they even catch them to begin with? That's what I want to know. That's what I want to know too. I want to know more Chuck about X, subscribe. Mr. Bongwater, subscribe as well. Oh, thank you guys so much. I want to know, yeah, I want to know like more lore about how, about how this- how this containment center even became a thing. Like, how did they even catch these things to begin with? 106 appears to go through long periods of dormancy in which it will remain completely motionless for up to three months. This is cause for unknown. However, it's been shown that this appears to be a lulling tactic. Oh my god. These pictures are freaking me out! This is a, a, a real person. Agent such and such. After he was released by SCP-106, subject had been missing for two hours. Subject remained alive for one more hour after release. He's missing his eyes and his tongue and the rest of his organs. So he was taken into the pocket dimension yeah. for two hours and, and, and then and just pooped tortured out. and then thrown out. Oh my god. Eh. In the event of a breach. A human within the 20 to 25 years range will be prepped for recall, with the compromised containment cell being replaced and restored for use. Whoa. So they, like, literally have to sacrifice someone to him yeah, to they, catch like, him. Yeah, they, they bait some... Well, I guess that's what, like, we're for, right? Mm. Like, all these death row inmates that they have. When the cell is ready, the lure subject will be injured, preferably via the breakage of a long bone, such as the femur, or the severing of a major tendon, such as the Achilles. The subject will then be placed in the prepped cell, and the sound emitted by said subject will be transmitted over the site public address system. 106 will begin to gravitate towards the subject within 10 to 15 minutes after hearing him correct scream. 106. Should 106 not respond to the initial broadcast, additional physical trauma is to be administered to lure the subject at 20 minute intervals. Multiple lure subjects may be used in the case of major breach events. 106 will typically enter a dormant state after finishing with lure subject. In addition, subjects may die. <laughs> wow. So they like, they like take out the inmates and then they torture them and then he hears their screams and then when he's done with them, he goes back to sleep and that's yeah. how they keep him contained. Anyway, he's right there. Did you hear that? Yeah. What are you going to do about it? Do I have to try and save us? Or are you going to try and save us? You going to do it? Yes. Oh my god. 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 Okay, you want to turn and run. Just spin around and run. To the door. No, no, no. Oh god, I'm tired. Okay, you're okay. Oh god, I'm tired. I'm, I'm trying I'm trying to run. 
I'm trying to run. I'm trying to run. Oh no. 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 I fucked up. I didn't get to a door that has a fucking door that I can close. I mean, you can travel through walls. So, there was no guarantee that closing a door would have done anything. What? What am I supposed to do? I don't know. Maybe he didn't follow you. He will follow you. Oh my god. Yeah, you can go through walls. I think we lost them. It's gone. Relax. You okay? <laughs> That's not fair. He came out of nowhere. Yeah, what the fuck? Where did he come from? What the fuck? come from I thought you're supposed to like at least see him and then he gets you yeah but twice now he's just teleported in front of us <laughs> someone said I just shit my pants <laughs> I'm going to die young now. You got this. What? No! What do you mean? It's your turn! What do you mean it's my fucking turn? I just fucking saved us from the old man! I know! I'm sorry! I know it's not fair! I know it's not fair! You're right, it's not fair on them. Not me. Them. They're here to watch you! You're gonna watch us! It's a strip on a stream! Oh my god, this is when we saves. That's right. This is where the other guy showed up. I'm like trapped between two of them now. Cause he, this guy was in here. Maybe it's randomized. Maybe he won't show up this time. Blank before you open.
wall. Did you not see the thing? Yeah, I saw it. It didn't do anything though. It just ran away. Also, now it's stuck in there, so I'm just gonna shut it. Shut it. In. So where do we go? Hmm. I have no idea. Does anyone know where we need to go? I actually, this is like the one room I feel safe in. I think that was the brain monster you just saw running along the wall. You think so? Yeah, I think so. Um, fuck. I don't know where to go. I feel like we're just going in circles. Yeah. The lift back there, it wasn't working. The lift wasn't working. Oh, so when you see the cracks on the floor, it means that the old man's, like, coming. What? We've seen the cracks so many times. Yeah, so they were indications that he was coming, like, eventually, basically. That's what someone said. Can you sneak past the spooky computer screen? Yeah, I did. There was nothing on the other side. It was very strange. No, cracks. Cracks. Yeah. Cracks. Because basically, wherever the old man comes from, there's corrosion okay. in the floor and door. The door downstairs where I have to start was for the key card. Oh fuck, okay, so we have to actually go past the old man. Okay. I go past where he showed up last time. Yeah. It's, it's here. That's your dad. That's my daddy? Yeah. Mm. Alright, come on, you know what's going now. No. What? Honey, I'm like... Come on. Come. Okay. Uh. Only way to escape, I'll do this get out of his range. Yeah. We just basically had to keep running. Unfortunately. So you go out here, you turn left, and you just keep going straight until you get to where we started. Okay. Channel Holly. 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 Oh, apparently that guy on the loading screen is also an SCP, SCP-990. I wanna look him up. Do you wanna look him up? Yeah. Take a break? Yeah. 990? Yeah. Currently, no containment for SCP-990 has been devised. Any personnel with suggestions for the containment of SCP-990 should report to Dr. Blank. Any and all ideas are welcome, regardless of who suggests them. SCP-990 is generally a human male dressed in a Cold War-era business suit who appears to Foundation personnel through dreams. Thus far, no Foundation personnel have encountered SCP-990 in the real world. If he corresponds to an actual human being, we have yet to find him. Presently, there have been no reports of SCP-990 appearing to non-Foundation personnel. 
SCP-990 has been appearing to Foundation personnel since data expunged. SCP-990's existence came to light when several agents discussed having dreams involving a similar individual. Numerous other agents reported dream sightings of an individual matching the description of 990. <laughs> the phenomenon did not officially receive SCP classification until the aftermath of event 9907. Agent Blank failed to report for duty at his assigned time. He was instead found in his quarters asleep. Subjects had been asleep for roughly 18 hours, and all subsequent attempts to wake him were unsuccessful. Subject was transported to Medical Bay. After over 40 hours of sleep, subject awakened in a highly agitated state. Subject reportedly ran through the facility yelling loudly about the end of the world. Even after being heavily sedated, all of his bodily functions remained in a dangerously accelerated state. Increased heart rate, high blood pressure, etc. Etc. Subject described a man matching the regular appearance of SCP-990. According to Dr. Blank's report, agent described with great detail a series of events that would lead to several tactical nuclear missiles being launched into mid-Europe and Eastern Asia, ultimately resulting in the extermination of nearly 98% of the human race and the total collapse of human society. Agent claimed that the information had been outlined to him by SCP-990 while he was trapped within his dream. Mobile Task Force Blank was dispatched to eliminate the initial threat that would begin the chain of events. MTF Blank was successful, and the crisis was averted. Agent Blank, however, did not survive his ordeal and died of shock-like symptoms. So the guy literally predicted the future in his dream. Yeah, so this, this, the dream man came to him, told him, like, what was going to happen to the world. So he was able to prevent something that would have destroyed the world, but the guy died from, like... Yeah. Since event 99007, SCP-990 has appeared to many Foundation personnel and made similar threats. As of yet, no situation on the scale of event 07 has occurred, however, 990 has successfully predicted the deaths of Doctors Blank, Blank, and Blank, as well as the destruction of Watch Station Epsilon 38 and Blank. Any threat made by SCP-990 should be reported to Foundation authorities regardless of its severity. Foundation personnel are considered free to converse with 990 if she'd appear to them, if he should appear to them, and are encouraged to try to obtain information from the subject regarding himself. Additionally, Dr. Blank has stated that anyone who can determine whether or not 990 has a corresponding body somewhere in the world will be well rewarded. Following is an interview conducted between Dr. Blank and SCP-990. Although the interview... Thank you, Green Knight, for your subscription. I appreciate it. I hope Although you Although the interview was not recorded until the doctor awoke, his memory has historically been highly accurate and reliable. State your name. State your name. Oh, are you trying to conduct an interview? Yes, is that alright? Sure, I'm game. Please, state your name. How about Tony? Tony. Your name is Tony? I believe a person has the right to be called whatever they want to be called. Very well then, Tony it is. Actually, I've changed my mind. How about Richard? That's fine with me. Richard it is. What's the next question? Why do you threaten Foundation personnel? Threaten? Who's making threats? You predicted a number of unfortunate events involving the Foundation, including the end of the world. Has And has any harm actually come of it? You murdered Agent Blank. Doctor, I believe you have the wrong impression about me. How so? I'm not the bad guy here. I wasn't aware there was a bad guy involved. Oh, there is. Who? SCP Blank. There is no SCP with that designation, and there won't be for some time. Well, of course not. She hasn't even been born yet, much less classified by your foundation. Is this another prediction? This is your wake-up call. At this point, Dr. Blank was awakened by his alarm clock and proceeded to transcribe the interview. <sighs> so he predicted that another SCP would come along much, much later on, and she would just kill fucking Destroy everyone. Destroy the world. Yeah. <clears throat> SCP-231 is the saddest slash most screwed up. SCP-990 is like the, the the hero, the savior of all humans. Yeah. What are we looking for? 231. 231. Special personnel requirements. What? Under special order, the following addendum is attached to the beginning of the file for 2317. All personnel assigned to 2317 must rotate out for one month of psychological counseling after two months on site. 2317 is to be kept at an undisclosed location. All personnel assigned to 231 will be transported there blindfolded from Site-19 by a route including no fewer than seven different forms of transportation. Oh, does this one read your mind? Including but not limited to aircraft, automobile, underground tunnel, and blank. Removal of the blindfold during the transportation process is grounds for immediate termination. Personnel assigned to SCP-231 must undergo heavy psychological testing before being cleared to enter the site. Individuals must score at least 72 points on the Milgram Obedience Examination, be unmarried, have no offspring, and express nothing less than total loyalty to the Foundation. 
Unlike in normal psychological examinations, mild sociopathic tendencies and marked sexual deviancy are not to be considered automatic fail conditions. <laughs> Personnel who express sympathy toward 231's plight and or express a desire to rescue or sympathize toward 231 will be transferred to another project without delay. Any actual rescue attempts will be met with immediate termination. Personnel who have served on the staff of SCP-231's containment team are not required to divulge that information to others. No official record shall be kept of the name of any staff assigned to 231, nor will said service appear in the personnel files of said staff. While on site, individuals assigned to SCP-231 will be issued concealing helmets with integrated voice changers to protect their identity. On-site staff are not to remove said uniforms in the presence of other staff members. Off-duty hours <clears throat> are to be spent in private quarters alone. Two three one is a blank. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Six class D personnel with backgrounds as sex offenders are to be assigned to two three one each month for the purposes of carrying out procedure one ten mon talk. Violent criminals are not to be used for this purpose due to the possibility of accidental fatality during the one ten mon talk process. What the fuck? I'm glad you read that. What violent criminals? What? Long repeated escape and suicide attempts and based on the failure of containment. I see. P231 1 through 6. Containment of 7 has been amended to the following. 231 is to be contained within a soundproof holding cell. Uh, cameras will monitor every inch of the cell at all times and must be manned 24 hours a day. Malfunctioning monitors' equipment will be replaced without delay. 2317 is to be kept restrained to a hospital bed at all times except for the purposes of Procedure 110 Montauk. Hydration will be provided through IV drip. Feeding will be carried out twice per day through feeding tubes by approved medical personnel who have not taken the Hippocratic Oath. What? Under no circumstances are narcotics, anesthesia, or other unapproved medications to be administered. She's to be kept restrained on a hospital bed at all times. <clears throat> procedure 110 Montauk is to be carried out at least once every 24 hours by Class D personnel. During Procedure 110 Montauk, at least one security clearance for 231 staff member must monitor the procedure by camera at all times. Although the sound may be turned off if the vocalizations of SCP become too distressing. Following the procedure, all Class D personnel must return to their holding cells or explosive collars will be detonated. What? Description. SCP-231 is a blank female between blank and blank years of age with blank. 231, 1 human. through 7 were retrieved... A human female, it must yeah. be. Were retrieved from blank. Blank, following a police raid on a warehouse owned by an organization called the Children of the Scarlet King. See article blank 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 in the Police blank raid thing. satanic sex cult save seven. Twenty four hours after the rescue, SCP two three one, real name blank blank, went into labor pains, giving birth three minutes later to SCP blank, causing a blank event resulting in over blank confirmed casualties. Jesus. Foundation personnel immediately took possession of remaining SCPs two three one to two through seven, and based on notebooks recovered from the cult, instituted procedure one ten Montauk to prevent future occurrences. Current status of SCP-231 units. SCP-2311, killed during initial recovery operations while giving birth to SCP blank. See, see casual report for more details. 2312, killed during attempt to remove fetus of second SCP blank specimen, resulting in immediate blank event. See casualty report. 2313, self-terminated following a prolonged period of distress caused by implementation of 110 Montauk. SCP blank immediately underwent a blank event. See casualty report. Are we gonna. Will it like explain what is going on? 2314. Although successful and all traces of SCP blank were expelled from the system, expelled remains immediately underwent a blank event, causing numerous casualties. Botched application of 110 Montauk resulted in 2315 giving birth to SCP blank one hour later, which then underwent a blank event. Casualty report. Killed during an es this is six two three one six. Killed during escape attempt aided and abetted by Agent Blank Blank, who had been exhibiting heightened stress levels due to prolonged exposure to two three one. Obtained possession of SCP Blank and attempted to use said weapon to rescue two three one six and two three one seven. Agent Blank was killed in the resulting firefight, but a stray round resulted in the termination of two three one six as well. Fetus of two three one six's SCP Blank then underwent a blank event. In the wake of this incident, five level. O5 level personnel voted by unanimous decision to amend personnel policies. And SCP-2317 is successfully contained. 
Dear friends, it has come to my attention that recently certain rumors have surfaced regarding SCP-231. Due to the drop in staff morale, I have decided to address some of the more prevalent points. Yes, Procedure 110 Montauk is as horrible as you have heard, which is why only Class D personnel are authorized to carry it out. Yes, it does involve brutal blank. No, assignment to SCP-231 is not intended to test your loyalty to the Foundation, your tendencies toward blank, or anything else. No, SCP-231 is not a punishment detail. Yes, there are staff members who have been on SCP-231 and have successfully transferred out by their own request. No, not everyone who worked on SCP-231 is terminated upon leaving the project. Yes, staff members who have been assigned to SCP-231 are allowed to take a Class A amnesiac before leaving the project if so desired. Yes, false memories are then implanted. No, none of the supposed methods for recovering or detecting false memories will work. Yes, there are some of you who have worked on SCP-231 and don't remember it. No, we have not given up trying to save SCP-2317, but research in that field must be carried out with the utmost of caution, based on the increased potency of each subsequent blank event associated with each subsequent SCP blank specimen. There's a strong possibility that 2317's blank event could result in an XK class end of the world scenario. This information is corroborated in notebooks recovered from the cultists. No, putting the poor girl out of her misery is not an option. Neither is drugging her. She has to be aware of what's going on for 110 Montauk to work. Is she being raped by these guys? Yeah. Yeah. Like, that must be what they're talking about, right? Yeah. If And if they don't, if it doesn't happen, like, every 24 hours, then she, like, gives birth to something which causes the end of the world. What? Basically. Seven's emotional response to 110 Montauk appears to be reduced recently, despite proper execution of said procedure. Increased danger of SCP blank undergoing a blank event, two options have been proposed. Development of a new containment procedure with higher emotional response. Because she's, she's like, don't... she's been linked, she's been like, basically like, lit, done something to her by a satanic cult. Right. So like, the only way to, I guess, the only way to stop the end of the world happening is to like, keep having sex with her. To abort the inception. I don't think it's an abortion. I don't think people are medically trained to carry out abortions every 24 hours. Although that is a possibility. Yeah, that's super fucked up. You, play? you haven't played in fucking ages. All you have to do is go to that lower floor where the thingy was. But the guy is the guy is there. All you have to do is outrun him. If he turns up, I'll take over. Just go. Just play. It's a temporary abortion via forced sex. Yeah, that's super fucked up. What? No, if you read the rest, it talks about her having to experience mental trauma. That's why people are, like, feeling sorry for her and trying to, like, yeah. get her out and stuff. Right. Oh my gosh, okay. This game stresses me out so bad. I don't know if you can tell. I am like so stressed out. <sighs> Big Mo, thank you for your subscription. I'm a magical girl. <sighs> I'm a magical girl, I'm a magical girl, I'm a magical girl. Fuck! I'm a magical girl, I'm a magical girl, I'm a magical girl, I'm a magical girl. Oh my god. Oh my god, it was me blinking. I forgot about the blinking. You just panic fired and it stings. I didn't fart. Are you sure? Did you fart? No. Did you fart? I'm not the one who's under a lot of stress right now. <laughs> this seems so much worse What's for you S than when you played SC it out last. Sam Strippin, Bane of SCP-106. What's 106? Didn't we look at 106? Which one was 106? Fuck, I can't keep all of these We haven't looked at 106. Straight. And apparently, oh, well, no, S apparently 996 996 will dude, make you right? happy. 106 is the, is the old man, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, fuck him. I'll take him out. Apparently SCP-999 will make you happy, if you need to be happy. But you, we've just read one, so play. <laughs> just play. Stop hitting your head on the table. Oh my god! Look, you can do like a really cool scare montage where you highlight all your screams <laughs> for YouTube. There's plenty! There's plenty! Can you go? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah! Fuck, what? okay, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. You just screamed at nothing. I know, I'm sorry. I just... 
it just moved and I didn't know it was gonna move and I Save it. Just going straight, still, right? There we go. Yeah. I took a short <laughs> what? What do you mean, what? You just heard a noise. You didn't actually see anything. You just heard a noise. Go Sorry, I know you're super frustrated with me. No, no, it's fine. I understand. I understand you being scared. It makes a lot of sense. Anyone, any normal person would be scared. What? <laughs> what? Did I say something bad? <laughs> what? You don't leave me. Oh my god. What do you mean? I just walked across the room to get some coke. I'm not a normal person. Dude, when it comes to horror games, no, I'm not a normal person. No, he tricked me. Can I just say, for the record, that Sam was like, oh yeah, I totally, I'm totally that sort of person where like, the second I'm playing, like, I, I try to like, pass it off to other people, like, I get super scared. But apparently that's like, he was telling me stories from when he was like a kid, and he's not like that at all anymore. Because I like, overcame it. <laughs> I overcame my fear of horror games, and now I'm just like, fuck it, it's a horror game, let's go. But also, yeah. also, yeah. games like this don't scare me. Why? Because it's like, it's, there's nothing like scary about it, right? It's like, it's like there's a monster and either you die or you don't die. There's like nothing scary about that for me. The anticipation. They don't fuck, they don't fuck with you. They just turn up and you die. Right. Like stuff that fucks with me, that's like, that's like, more, I find that more scary. For me, like, it's like. I feel like, like amnesia would be scary for me. For me, it's um, Maybe. it's anticipation because I have such an overactive imagination. Like just imagining. I'm the same as Gallant. He says jump scares get me sometimes, but I've never been scared from from like an actual game or movie. I'm exactly the same. Jump scares can get me, like definitely. Nothing scary after playing Alien Isolation. I think this is way scarier than Alien. What's Isolation? the number one game that scared the shit out of you in your life, dude? I played Silent Hill when I was a kid, and it fucking scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> but then I played it recently, and it wasn't that bad. But well, I played Silent Hill when I was a kid, and it scared the shit out of me, big time. Mm -hmm. Silent Hill 2. I played that when I was younger. Silent and, Hill 2. And I was, That's the one. I was so much better about it. But I think also, I only ever played those games like when it was bright and I had friends What's around. PT? PT. Remember we watched Jesse and all them play it. Oh. The Silent Hill trailer thing. Oh yeah, PT was great. PT was really great. Yeah. I watched Jesse play that. That seems awesome. I'm definitely going to play that when it comes out. Hopefully with them. They yeah. invited us, didn't they? Yeah, they did invite us. You can I'm gonna I'm gonna be another Davis. Davis and I are just gonna be like ah! at everything and never touch the controller. <laughs> That's what's gonna wind up happening. I mean, I played Silent Hill one when I was like ten and I got scared. So I think if I played it now, I'd be fine. I can't remember the last time I was genuinely scared of a game. Yeah. PT seems like one I would I would be scared of. Yeah, I would enjoy that. Do I jump at scary films? Uh, like. Eh. <laughs> There was a torch, like, in that room. You just walk in and grab it. Play! You can't just... Every time something happens, you can't just... I wish there wasn't a pause feature on this game. You can't just <laughs> press pause and fucking sit back and then be like, No, 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 no. I can't! I can't do that! No. I would have noped out of this game so hard by this point. You realize that, right? You, you've had, like, 40 subscribers. I know. Tonight. Thank you. You're all wonderful. That doesn't change the fact that I freak the fuck out. And I freak the fuck out. Guys, go subscribe to me and I'll actually play the game. Yeah, go subscribe to Sam because he's been wonderful. Go show him your love. I'm kidding. Twitch.tv Twitch Twitch yeah. slash strippin. Just go. Right? Ahead. Slash strippin, not the strippin. Right? Oh, God. The last one. Yeah. <laughs> out 
is through the southeast wing. Follow me. Three people. Is it is it the fucking red dude again? Could be. Yeah, because we just had a roll. Oh my god, it's the red dude pretending to be people. Or cervical fracture. Oh, he got me apparently. Because I didn't maintain eye contact with him, I turned my back to him. Oh, that's why. So he got me. Oh no! The game crashed! Oh no, will it not? We won't have a save game now. Will we not? Does it save? Or is it like it saves the one time you play it? Will the save carry over? Load game? Yeah, there we go. Okay, okay. Yeah, you can't break eye contact. I think Dodger's screams scare me more than the actual. I'm the same. Dodger <laughs> screams like make me uncomfortable a lot more than the game. I'm so sorry. I just I don't know how to fucking handle my shit. Alright, so let's go this way. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. That guy got fucked. <laughs> that guy got fucked. <laughs> Hang on. Yeah, he, he got sucked in fucking hard. Is he Is he gonna go dormant now? Yeah. Now that he ate a dude, he's like, ah, I'm good. <laughs> that guy got destroyed. He got, yeah, he got royally fucked. Alright, he is not down there, so let's go. Blink. Alright, cool. Go the way. Black screen. Black screen. What? Black screen. We have to we have to reload it again. Why are you just screaming that out? I'm sorry. That makes me really uncomfortable. I'm sorry. Holy shit. You don't just sit there and just like scream black screen. Why why well, not? Because I'm like thinking something's going on in game. I'm sorry. What's wrong with you? I'm sorry. Alright guys, you missed it. The oh my god, did they miss it? <gasps> no! Did you not see the dude get wait, sucked? Wait, I'm gonna reload. I'm gonna reload. Oh, I hope it happens again. I opened a door, and there was a guy like running, and then the old man came out the floor and just grabbed him. It was fucking great. Oh my god, yes, please let that happen again. She freaks me out, because she just fucking yells shit and screams. I'm sorry. If I was on my own, I this game would be beat by now. <laughs> we missed it, we missed it. Oh, fuck. Wait, wait, wait. It should happen again. Yes. Oh, mate! Yes. Oh no! Yes. Now that guy's... Now... Now old man is, is sated. Yeah. Like, No, there was no handle. The stair mechanics are so messed up. We Fuck. keep we keep finding um Empty we, cup. Fuck that. We keep finding batteries, but There we go. But Let's we take our battery. In case we get our torch. You know what? What's this? A gas mask. Gas mask, yeah. Sub to Sam for being awesome. Yeah, go sub to Sam. Twitch.tv slash strippin. He's great. Alright, so now I've opened that elevator, it's actually stuck open. And whatever was in there, I've let out. We did not come from that elevator. What? We did not come from that we elevator. We came from here. This is where we came from. Yeah, we came from here. We didn't come from the elevator. No. 
same saying as we came from here, so why don't we go into that door where the old man sucked up the body? We have to try and find our way downstairs. We didn't even go in the area where the old man sucked up the body, though. We... No. The guy... Someone in the chat told us where we have to go. Oh. Well, you know when we first started with all the tables and you have to go up the stairs? Yeah. That's where we have to be. Because this key card is for level one and that's the only door that's on the level one. Oh, I thought that's where we were. That way. Nagger. Nagger. Ted's gone. He's gone to make another teddy bear. Teddy's gone to make another teddy bear. Yeah. He's gonna make it out of poo and it's gonna climb in my bum. No. <laughs> no, honey. Where do we go? I wish I had a map. This way, I think. Come up here and comfort me. <laughs> yeah. Watson, don't walk away. Oh God. Oh my God. Oh my God. There he is. Where? He's coming out of the floor right now. Old yeah, man. there he is. Come on, you old fuck. Come on! You fucking want some? You want some? You fucking want some? should stop soonish. There we go. What does that mean? What? Oh, when the music stops, that means that he's gone? Yeah. Little prick. Can we not go down that elevator with the blood in it? I don't want to. I want to go back to where we were. Shit on the floor. That's where he came from. Yeah. That's where he came from. This is ground floor. So this is level so one. Up there, oh, that way? Yeah. God, the stairs are so fucking buggy. doors in this area? No. <sighs> what do we do? That lift that took us down to the lizards. You're playing fast and loose. Reckless abandoned. Oh, 
just sick of walking in circles waiting for fucking something to s jump out. To be honest. No, it's not down here because this is where the this is where the coffin room is. Is it? Yeah. Now let now, let me explore this room. Some fucking horseshit going on. Uh, TV. No. This is not the TV one. This is the one where the puppet was inside. Are, they're connected though, right? Different rooms. What, but we came out the other side and then we wound up here. No, this is a different room. In a different part of the building. In a different room. <laughs> nope, that's him. Yeah, he's there. That was him. That's him. Huh? The guy in the TV. Mm. He was draw He was pulling my gaze towards him. Like a, like a fucking asshole. Captain. How do you get a directional sense for this game when every room looks the same? That's why I keep being like, we've been here. See that? Where are you, little fucko? Oh, he's going to a vent. Ugh. Right, not that way. What about this way? <gasps> Something escaped. Level two key card. I don't know. Um, get rid of one of the batteries. What's this? A navigator. Oh, a map. Oh, sweet. Let's keep going this way. I think I got out <laughs> just before it went down, which is good because we didn't want to go to the lizards. Because we want to go, you know, that corridor where I had the two sealed doors. Right there. Oh, we could go. We could go here. I think. Oh, okay. We can't do that yet. There's notes about you fuckers on the floor. No. What was that? Wrong way. over here. No. Ah. Oh, there he was. Is that just supposed to, is that like supposed to just scare you a little bit, like shit you up a little bit? And to be like, oh my god, what was that? Like me. Yeah. Let's pick up that battery again. Yeah, there. someone said I should save the batteries, so. Can we not get into that other door? Key card or is that the button that went up there? It's just a button. Okay. Don't 
don't want that left. You don't want that room. Keep going. Somebody said I think the radio might give you problems. Nope, found it. Are you fucking kidding me? I was positive we needed these two doors. Now I have no idea where we are. Time. Always oh, you, in it. Thank you, Raposa, for your subscription. Yo, we just walked off. Oh, there he is. He's Come like, on, bro. I found you. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. It's fucking out so hard. Find the gas chamber and use the mask you have. Oh! Remember when I went in that gas chamber and I died? Yeah. We have a gas mask now. Right, but... It was just, Oh! It he actually put me in his dimension. Oh my god. Sick. Smells so nice. appearance of typical of the victims of 106 the body exhibits injuries that have not been observed before it's because I got hit by a giant fucking cinder block oh there's the guy yeah there's that guy that we were researched before. all right go on go hmm. find that oh fuck wait what Oh, here he comes. 
Hi there, Daddy. Have you come to take me home? Daddy? Daddy, look at me. Find the other gas chain without the camera guy, okay? Daddy, no!